Greetings, friends. Have you ever felt like you're on a financial treadmill, working harder, but never quite getting ahead? Well, my friends, you're not alone. We're living in an era of unprecedented corporate greed, where bosses are constantly scheming to squeeze every last penny out of their employees. Yes, you heard that right. The salary wars are upon us, and it's a battle for your financial well-being. In today's cutthroat job market, it's more crucial than ever to arm yourselves with the knowledge and strategies to avoid being taken advantage of. That's why I'm here to be your guide, your mentor, your battle-hardened general in this epic struggle for fair compensation. We'll expose the cunning tactics employed by those in power and equip you with the tools to fight back and claim what you rightfully deserve. Throughout history, the struggle for fair wages has been a defining theme, shaping societies and igniting revolutions. From the coal mines of England to the factories of America, workers have always fought for their right to a living wage. But the battleground has shifted, my friends. Today, it's a silent war, fought in boardrooms and behind closed doors. But fear not, for we shall bring the fight to them. Now, to truly understand how to win this war, we need to understand our opponents, the corporations. These behemoths, driven by an insatiable appetite for profit, view salaries as an expense rather than the essential foundation of a thriving workforce. They see employees as expendable pawns in their game of corporate chess, easily replaced and manipulated. They employ an arsenal of tactics designed to keep your salary low and their profits high. We'll delve into the dark arts of cost-cutting, outsourcing and automation, revealing the methods used to justify paying you less while demanding more. But remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the motivations and strategies of your corporate adversaries, you'll be better equipped to anticipate their moves and counter their every tactic. We'll expose the smoke and mirrors, the corporate jargon, and the psychological ploys used to keep you off balance and willing to accept less than your worth. But fear not, my fellow warriors. This video is not about despair, it's about empowerment. Throughout this series, we'll equip you with an arsenal of tools and strategies to navigate this treacherous terrain. We'll delve into the art of negotiation, teaching you how to articulate your worth with confidence and conviction. From researching industry benchmarks and understanding your true market value, to mastering the subtle art of body language and persuasive communication, we'll leave no stone unturned. We'll show you how to leverage your skills, experience and qualifications to command the compensation you deserve. Remember, you're not alone in this fight. We at MJoga Coaching and Consulting are your staunch allies in your journey to career excellence. We've helped countless individuals just like you break free from the shackles of discount salaries and achieve their full earning potential. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, and together let's turn the tide of the salary wars in your favour. Right then, lads and lasses, let's turn back the clock and journey through the annals of history, for the past holds valuable lessons for our modern-day struggle. Believe it or not, the battle over fair pay is as old as civilization itself. From the feudal systems of medieval Europe, where lords held sway over their serfs, demanding labour in exchange for meagre protection and sustenance, to the ancient empires of Rome and Egypt, built on the backs of slaves and labourers, denied even basic rights. The struggle for fair compensation has been a constant throughout human history. The echoes of these historical struggles resonate even today. While we may no longer toil under feudal lords or pharaohs, the underlying power dynamics between those who control the means of production and those who rely on their labour for survival remain strikingly similar. The Industrial Revolution's shadow, the rise of mass production and wage suppression. Now, fast forward to the 18th century, the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, a time of immense technological advancement, but also a time when the seeds of modern wage suppression were sown. The rise of factories and mass production 
created a new class of workers, the factory labourers. Lured from their rural homes with promises of a better life, they soon found themselves toiling long hours in dangerous conditions for paltry wages. Factory owners, driven by the relentless pursuit of profit, sought to maximise output while minimising labour costs. They knew that a vast pool of desperate workers competing for limited jobs gave them the upper hand. The Great Depression's grip, a case study in economic crisis and salary erosion. Ah, but the story doesn't end there. The Great Depression of the 1930s stands as a stark reminder of how economic crises can decimate wages and shatter livelihoods. With businesses collapsing and unemployment soaring, workers were forced to accept any work they could find, often at a fraction of their previous wages. Desperation became the norm and the bargaining power of workers evaporated. The lessons of the Great Depression are as relevant today as they were nearly a century ago. Economic downturns, whether caused by financial meltdowns, pandemics or global conflicts, create fertile ground for wage suppression. The global game of labour arbitrage outsourcing, offshoring, and the quest for cheaper labor. Now, let's shift our focus to the global stage. The rise of globalization and the interconnectedness of the world economy have created new challenges and opportunities for both workers and corporations. Corporations ever eager to minimize costs and maximize profits have embraced outsourcing and offshoring, shifting jobs from higher wage countries to lower wage countries. This global game of labour arbitrage creates downward pressure on wages in developed countries as workers are forced to compete with a global pool of labour willing to work for less. The Digital Age Dilemma – Automation, Artificial Intelligence and the Future of Work and finally, we arrive at the digital age, an era of unprecedented technological advancement, but also one fraught with uncertainty for the future of work. Automation and artificial intelligence are rapidly transforming industries, automating tasks once performed by humans. While this can lead to increased productivity and efficiency, it also raises concerns about job displacement and wage stagnation. As machines become increasingly sophisticated, Capable of performing more complex tasks, the demand for human labour may decrease, leading to downward pressure on wages and potentially even mass unemployment. The Art of Subtle Salary Squeezing, a masterclass in corporate deception. Now, my friends, let's talk about the art of subtlety, the sly tactics employed by some corporations to chip away at your hard-earned wages without you even realising it. They know that outright salary cuts can lead to mutiny, so they resort to more insidious methods like a thief in the night, quietly pilfering your earnings. One of their favourite tricks is the restructuring or reorganisation ploy. They'll shuffle departments, change titles and add responsibilities, all while keeping your salary exactly the same. You might even feel flattered by the promotion, but in reality you're doing more work for the same pay. It's a cunning bait-and-switch tactic. Another sneaky tactic is the bonus reduction manoeuvre. They'll dangle a tempting bonus in front of you like a carrot on a stick, but then make it increasingly difficult to achieve. Targets will be moved, metrics will be changed, and suddenly that once achievable bonus becomes as elusive as a unicorn riding a roller coaster. The smoke and mirrors of benefits erosion, how perks disappear in the name of cost savings. Now let's talk about those perks and benefits they love to boast about. You know, the ones that supposedly make up for the fact that your salary is lower than a snake's belly in a wagon rut? Well, don't be fooled by the smoke and mirrors because those benefits are often the first to go when the corporate bean counters come knocking. Health insurance? Oh, they'll still offer it, but the premiums will skyrocket faster than a squirrel on a sugar rush and your deductibles will be higher than a giraffe's hat. Retirement contributions? They'll cut back on those too, leaving you to fend for yourself in your golden years. And don't even get me started on those wellness programs they try to pass off as benefits. 
A few yoga classes and a discounted gym membership don't make up for a living wage, my friends. They're just trying to distract you from the fact that your pay packet is shrinking faster than a snowman in a sauna. The performance review trap. When evaluations become a weapon for wage suppression. Ah, the dreaded performance review. That annual ritual where you're summoned to your manager's office like a peasant before the king to be judged and evaluated. They'll tell you it's about growth and development, but in reality, it's often a thinly veiled excuse to keep your salary down. They'll nitpick your every move, magnify minor mistakes, and conveniently overlook your accomplishments, all to justify giving you a paltry raise, or worse, no raise at all. They'll compare you to colleagues who are either superhuman or figments of their imagination, leaving you feeling inadequate and undervalued. It's a classic case of heads they win, tails you lose. If you excel, they'll say you're simply meeting expectations. If you stumble, they'll use it as leverage to deny you a raise. It's enough to make you want to pull your hair out. The culture of overwork and underpay, the glorification of hustle culture and its impact on wages. Now, let's talk about this modern day plague they call hustle culture. You know, the idea that you have to be constantly working, grinding and sacrificing your health and sanity on the altar of productivity. It's a toxic mentality that benefits no one but the corporations and it's time to call it out for what it is. Exploitation. They'll glorify long hours, weekend work and the always-on mentality, making you feel guilty for taking a break or having a life outside of work. They'll praise those who burn the midnight oil, even if it's at the expense of their well-being, creating a culture of competition and exhaustion. And the worst part? They'll use this culture of overwork to justify lower wages. After all, if you're passionate about your work and you're living your dream, why should they pay you a fair wage? It's a cynical ploy to exploit your dedication and drive, and it's time to put an end to it. The legal loopholes and labour law erosion. How changes in legislation can undermine your earning potential. And as if all that wasn't enough, my friends, we have to contend with the erosion of labour laws and regulations, those hard-fought protections that were supposed to ensure fair treatment and just compensation. But like a ship slowly taking on water, those protections are being chipped away, leaving workers vulnerable to exploitation. Politicians, often influenced by corporate lobbyists with deep pockets, chip away at these laws, creating loopholes that allow companies to pay workers less, deny them benefits, or classify them as independent contractors to avoid providing basic protections. It's a disgrace, I tell you. These changes might seem small and insignificant at first, but over time they add up like grains of sand slowly eroding a mountain. And the result? Workers are left with less bargaining power, lower wages and fewer rights. It's a race to the bottom and it's time to put on the brakes. Now, my astute observers of the economic landscape, let's delve into the far-reaching consequences of this salary-squeezing game. It's not just about individuals struggling to make ends meet, oh no. It's about the very fabric of our economy unravelling like a cheap suit in a rainstorm. You see, when salaries stagnate or decline, consumer spending takes a nosedive. People have less money to spend on goods and services, which hurts businesses, big and small. It's a vicious cycle, like a dog chasing its tail, leading to slower economic growth and fewer opportunities for everyone. Think of it as a game of musical chairs, but with jobs and opportunities as the chairs. As the music slows down, more and more people are left standing desperate for a seat. The competition becomes fierce and the pressure to accept lower wages intensifies. And what happens when this economic inequality festers and grows? It creates a nation divided, my friends. A nation where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. The gap between the haves and the have-nots widens into a chasm, breeding resentment, instability and social unrest. Those at the top 
sitting comfortably in their ivory towers, may be oblivious to the struggles of ordinary people, but they shouldn't be surprised when the ground beneath their feet starts to shake. A house divided against itself cannot stand, as the saying goes, and a nation with such stark economic inequality is a nation on the brink. It's time to bridge this divide, to create an economy that works for everyone, not just the privileged few. An economy where hard work is rewarded, where everyone has a fair shot at a decent life, and where the American dream is within reach for all, not just a select few. But it's not just about the macroeconomics, my friends. It's about the human cost of this discount salary trap. The stress, the anxiety, the sleepless nights, worrying about how to pay the bills, put food on the table and provide for your loved ones. It takes a toll, a heavy toll. Imagine, if you will, the constant weight of financial insecurity pressing down on you like a lead blanket, suffocating your dreams, your aspirations, your very will to live. It's enough to drive anyone to despair, to make them question their self-worth, their value, their place in the world. And what happens when stress becomes chronic? It manifests in physical ailments, in weakened immune systems, in increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and other debilitating conditions. It's a slow poison chipping away at your health, your vitality, your very life force. The family under fire. When salary reductions hit home. And what about the families caught in this crossfire? The children who go to bed hungry. The parents who have to work two or three jobs just to make ends meet. The family unit, the cornerstone of society, is under attack, eroded by the relentless pressure of stagnant wages and rising costs of living. Imagine having to tell your children that they can't go on the school trip, that they can't have new shoes, that they have to miss out on opportunities because you simply can't afford it. Imagine the shame, the guilt, the heartbreak of knowing that you're not able to provide for your family the way you want to. It's a tragedy, my friends. And it's happening in homes across the country every single day. Families are being torn apart, dreams are being deferred, and the promise of a better future is fading like a distant memory. The skills gap mirage, how discount salaries discourage investment in education and training. Now, some might argue that it's a skills gap that's holding workers back, that if only they had the right education and training, they could command higher salaries. But I say, that's just a load of poppycock. It's a convenient excuse used by corporations to justify paying their workers less. The truth is, my friends, that low wages discourage investment in education and training. Why would anyone spend years of their life and thousands of pounds on a degree or a qualification if it doesn't lead to a well-paying job? It's like investing in a leaky bucket. No matter how much water you pour in, it's just going to leak out. We need to create an environment where education and training are valued, where workers are rewarded for their skills and knowledge, and where investing in oneself is a path to a better future, not a dead end. The innovation inhibition. When salary reductions stifle creativity and entrepreneurship. And what about innovation, that engine of progress and prosperity? Well, let me tell you, it doesn't thrive in an environment of wage suppression. When people are struggling to make ends meet, they're not going to be taking risks, starting businesses or pursuing their passions. They're going to be focused on survival, on keeping their heads above water. Imagine a world where Steve Jobs was too busy working a dead-end job to found Apple, where Bill Gates was stuck in a cubicle instead of revolutionising the computer industry, where Oprah Winfrey was stifled by low wages and lack of opportunity. It's a bleak picture, isn't it? We need to create an environment where creativity and entrepreneurship can flourish, where people feel empowered to take risks, to pursue their dreams, and to build a better future for themselves and their communities. A call to action, reclaiming our worth and rebuilding a fair economy. So, 
My fellow warriors in the battle for fair compensation, I leave you with this. It's time to reclaim our worth. It's time to stand up and say, enough is enough. It's time to demand better for ourselves, our families and our communities. Don't let the corporate fat cats and their political puppets tell you that you're not worth it, that you don't deserve a living wage, that you should be grateful for whatever crumbs they choose to throw your way. You are worthy, you are valuable. You deserve to be compensated fairly for your hard work and dedication. Together, we can turn the tide, we can rewrite the rules, we can create an economy that works for everyone, not just the privileged few. It starts with each and every one of us demanding better, fighting for our rights and refusing to accept anything less than we deserve. Know your worth, my friend. The power of self-assessment and market research. Now, my savvy seekers of financial freedom, let's talk about the first and most crucial step in dodging the discount salary trap. Knowing your damn worth, that's right. You heard me right. You can't expect to command a fair price if you don't even know what you're selling, can you? It's time to take stock of your skills, your experience, your education, your accomplishments. Everything that makes you valuable in the job market. Don't be shy. Write it all down. Every last bit of it. You'll be surprised at how much you've achieved and how much you have to offer. Once you've got that down, it's time to do some market research, my friends. Find out what others in your field with similar skills and experience are earning. There are plenty of online resources, salary surveys and industry reports that can give you a good idea of your market value. Sharpening your negotiation sword, strategies to outwit and outmaneuver. Now, armed with the knowledge of your true worth, it's time to sharpen your negotiation sword, my friends, because this is where the rubber meets the road, where the wheat is separated from the chaff, where the, well, you get the picture. First and foremost, remember this. Negotiation is not a battle, it's a dance. A delicate dance between two parties, each trying to get the best possible deal. The key is to be confident, assertive, but not aggressive. Think of it like a game of chess, where every move counts. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want, and don't be afraid to walk away from an offer that doesn't meet your needs. Remember, you have value, you have options, and you don't have to settle for less than you deserve. Beyond the paycheck, unlocking the value of benefits and perks. Now, my astute negotiators, let's not forget about the often overlooked treasure trove of benefits and perks. These can be worth their weight in gold, my friends, so don't be afraid to haggle over them like a rug merchant in a bazaar. Health insurance, retirement contributions, paid time off, flexible work arrangements, these are all valuable components of your overall compensation package. Don't just accept the standard offer, my friends, negotiate. Ask for what you need, what works for you and your family. Remember, it's all negotiable, and a savvy negotiator knows how to extract maximum value from every aspect of the deal. Exploring alternative horizons. When to walk away and seek greener pastures. Now, my intrepid explorers of the job market, sometimes, despite your best efforts, you'll encounter a situation where you're simply not going to get what you deserve. The company is too cheap, the boss is too stubborn, the whole thing just stinks like a weak old fish. In these situations, my friends, it's time to channel your inner Viking and sail away to greener pastures. Don't be afraid to walk away from a bad deal, to tell them to stuff their discount salary where the sun don't shine. There are plenty of other fish in the sea, as they say, and a skilled and experienced professional like yourself is always in demand. So, dust off your CV, polish up your LinkedIn profile, and start exploring those alternative horizons. Investing in your future. Upskilling, reskilling, and becoming indispensable. And finally, my future-focused friends, let's talk about the importance of investing in yourselves, of constantly learning, growing, and evolving in this ever-changing job market. 
Because the only way to stay ahead of the curve to avoid becoming obsolete like a Betamax tape is to become an indispensable asset, a master of your craft. So, embrace lifelong learning, my friends. Take courses, attend workshops, read books, listen to podcasts, whatever it takes to keep your skills sharp and your knowledge up to date. The more you learn, the more valuable you become and the more leverage you'll have in salary negotiations. Remember, knowledge is power and in the salary wars, knowledge is your most potent weapon. Well, my valiant warriors of the workplace, we've reached the end of our epic journey through the treacherous terrain of the salary wars. We've explored the historical roots of wage suppression, exposed the cunning tactics employed by some corporations, and armed you with the knowledge and strategies to fight back and claim what you rightfully deserve. Remember, my friends, it all starts with knowing your worth. Never underestimate the value you bring to the table, your skills, your experience, your dedication. Embrace your inner negotiator, hone your skills, and never be afraid to ask for what you deserve. The journey may be challenging, but the rewards are well worth the effort. By taking control of your career destiny, by demanding fair compensation, you're not just securing your own financial well-being, you're contributing to a more just and equitable society for all. But our work is not done, my friends. The fight for fair compensation is not just an individual battle, it's a collective struggle. We need to stand together to support each other, to demand better for ourselves and for future generations. Let's challenge the status quo. Let's call out injustice wherever we see it, and let's work towards a future where everyone has the opportunity to earn a living wage, to provide for their families, and to achieve their full potential. Remember, a rising tide lifts all boats, and when workers are fairly compensated, the entire economy benefits. So, let's join forces, let's raise our voices, and let's create a world where everyone has a fair shot at a brighter future. Now, my fellow champions of career excellence, I know that navigating the complexities of the job market can be a daunting task, but fear not, my friends, you don't have to go it alone. That's where we come in, M. Joga, coaching and consulting, your trusted allies in the trenches of the career world. We've helped countless individuals just like you identify their strengths, clarify their career goals, and develop winning strategies to achieve their full potential. From crafting compelling CVs and LinkedIn profiles to mastering the art of negotiation and interview skills, we've got you covered. So if you're ready to take your career to the next level, if you're tired of being undervalued and underpaid, then reach out to us today. We're here to support you every step of the way. And so my friends, as we raise a glass to your future success, Remember the wise words of the great Robert Reich. The most important thing to remember about achieving financial security is that it's not just about how much money you make, but how much control you have over your life and your work. Embrace your worth, my friends. Demand what you deserve and never stop fighting for your dreams. The power is in your hands. Go forth and conquer.